and that's Monday in the bag. The fireplace people have left. I've made my makeshift stove thingy, just to see how it's gonna look. The hearth has come fully up. The guys were gonna lay the new hearth on top, but they said it was a bit loose, so they've taken it completely up. And the only thing we now can't decide on is whether we should take out this whole front panel, because it's all, as you can see there, it's all timber and plasterboard, which we kind of knew anyway, because we'd seen that hole and we'd seen some of this up here. So we kind of knew it was gonna be timber, but because this is so close to the stove, it's not outside the appropriate distance for combustibles to the heat source. So now we're arming and ahhing as to whether to take all this out. After Emma's hard work of sanding all that beam, we're undecided. So we're gonna to talk to the guys tomorrow. They need to put some fireproof board on these timbers going into the fireplace. So we're gonna see how thick that is, because obviously you can see there, the stove is almost bang in the middle. And if these fireproof boards are too thick, I think we might lose like too much space. It might look a bit funny and out of proportion. So I don't know, we can have a discussion in the morning. I'm hoping if we do decide to rip it out, it's literally just screwed on to the brickwork. So with my trusty hammer and screwdriver, it shouldn't take too long to come down. Obviously we're taking all the coven and stuff down anyway at a later date, so that's not a problem. And then Emma might be able to get her, her other beam if she's lucky. We'll see. Who can guess what has gone? Which I'm um, a little bit sort of downtrodden about, to be honest, because I spent ages sanding that beam, which can I just show you is now over here. We're not obviously just throwing it away because it's a good old chunk of solid pine, that. So we'll keep that and try and recycle it somewhere else. Um, but we have a hearth hearth. Oh, go on then. He can't wait, can he? he? Can't wait to get his boxes in. That is almost exactly the same, the right width and height. Oh, so but not depth. Uh, not depth. No. Not depth, but that's almost the right size of our hearth. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see, and as you would have seen from the time lapses or sped up bits, we decided to remove, and it was quite a last minute decision, wasn't it? We were just like, right, well, we are going to remove how much did it come out back there? Yeah, about four inches. About four inches, and obviously the beam was built in, so we just decided to go for it. And actually, we're really happy now because it's given us, technically, this much more space in the lounge, which I know isn't a massive amount, but as you can see, we've taped off where our sofa's gonna go, and it does give us a little bit more here. So the guys left uh, not long ago, so I have been swatching <laughs> paint colours already around the room. But uh, yeah, we're quite happy with the... Yeah, I'm happy with it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's literally just a, a hearth at the moment. Oh, and all the insides, obviously, yeah. that you guys can't see. But yeah, all of the, all of this gubbins up there has been done. Plaster is coming on Friday, tidy up the corners. Yeah, so plaster will come and do that. It's a little harder getting this off than we expected, wasn't it? Than I expected. Well, yeah, I just went and hid in the kitchen, to be fair. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Yeah, go big or go you? home. Go big or go home. Well, we've had ourselves a bit of a day. Uh, so basically we had this morning a, what, would, what is he? Bit of a nightmare. Bit of a nightmare, a, a, like a, a gas engineer, not a gas engineer. I don't know, I've just done the smart meters. Someone that came from. to install smart meters because that's what we wanted. We had really like old, old meters and it was not calculating our usage right and stuff. So we wanted smart meters. He came to fit them today and discovered that we had a gas leak. Small one. A small one, but it's right in the fire or right next, next to? to. Look, you can kind of see down here. 
So I, we had seen this before, but I assumed the guys that were here previously had their log burner hooked up to their central heating. Yeah. So I assumed this was like an outlet for the water. But it appears that at some point they had a gas fire in here, which well, I can only assume there was a gas fire in here, because this is gas. So there was probably a slight leak coming from here. And then when I played around with it, took this end off and the gas came pouring out, which obviously wasn't good. Put it back on. The guy had to turn the gas off because a little leak still. So we'd have to get a plumber to come and cap that off somehow. But it's probably not best being like directly next to a fire either. No. So it's quite fortunate that we found it really, especially with a little leak. Yeah. Because that could have been a bit dangerous. Bit but dangerous. Been we'd have been on. we'd have been goners, basically. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. A bit lucky really. So basically, gas has now been turned off and mm. yes. Just Which is just, I, I just want to say, obviously, our safety is 100% the most important thing. It's just sod's law that we've had to have the gas turned off just as the weather has turned into absolutely Baltic temperatures. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but it's, it's basically, it's got quite cold over chilly. the last couple of days. It's, it's got a bit brisk. Yeah, but at least you've got that electric heater. Yes, we've got my uh, little Dyson air blade thing, which I used to have in the studio back at the old house. So fortunately we do have one electric heater. And obviously the whole reason of us moving to where we've moved to is that so that we're close or closer to family. So we do have people that we can go and commandeer their showers, which is what we're gonna do. Morning. So today I'm finally getting around to painting the office, which I am very excited to do and get done because once we've painted, we're kind of another step along to it being almost finished, aside from like the floor and skirt boards and the new doors, other new door. Um, but I'm excited to do this and I'm also a little bit nervous because I'm using lime wash paint and I've never used lime wash paint before so I'm kind of going to have to watch several YouTube tutorials to see how I master the strokes to get that textured sort of cloudy finish. I think it's very much going to be a trust the process kind of test. Right, we have just been for a shower at Simon's mum's. Much needed. Yeah, because obviously Weird. we've got no hot water or heating. Uh, and now Simon's cooking up a nice, oh, a nice uh, hearty winter meal. Because we might actually get snow this weekend, apparently. I hope not. It's cold enough as it is. Yeah, it is. Look, we've but even this, got our little heater. This will warm us up. Yes, so we're making, we, we, <laughs> we are not doing anything, I'm observing. Simon is making a nice hearty stew with our new pan, which is called the Always Pan from Our Place. It's very jazzy, we've been using it quite a lot recently. And uh, tonight Simon's going to be using that to create our stew. So the good thing about these pans is that they are suitable for all different kinds of hobs, which is great for us because we didn't have an induction, we had a ceramic hob at our old place. So we thought we were going to have to go and buy loads of new pans, but this one pan replaces eight different pieces of cookware. So it's your frying pan, 
your saute pan, your steamer, your skillet, your saucier, your saucepan, non-stick pan, which I'll get to in a minute, and your spatula and spoon rest all in one. Now, when we're talking about this non-stick pan, this is something which is rather important to people like me who like to burn things on the regular. So this has got an exclusive non-toxic ceramic coating, which is super duper non-stick, even for things like meats, and that makes it easy to clean afterwards as well. I've got to admit, after a long day painting, I am very much looking forward to this stew. I love a good hearty stew. Woohoo! Steaming up nicely, very nice. Not long now, just 45 minutes. That's a bit long for my liking, but okay. <laughs> so, um. These pans come in lots of different colours. We went for the colour. Do you know what colour ours is? Steam. It's very nice. Yeah, it it's oh, clearly. <laughs> it's a nice warm neutral, <laughs> which there'll be no surprise there. But yes, they come in lots of different colours. So there's pretty much something for every aesthetic. And as you can see, it is a very aesthetically pleasing piece of cookware. Come on then, is it ready? Yeah, grubs up. All good. good. Mm, smells good. I know you guys can't smell it, but you'll have to just take my word for it. Looks very nice indeed. It's good that pan, isn't it? Yeah, I really like it. It's very, very good. It would actually make a very good gift for something like Christmas, or if you know any newlyweds, or housewarming gift, or even the best kind of gifts, which are to you from yeah. you to me from me they're my favorite kinds of gifts if you like looking like what we did to declutter your kitchen cupboards or your kitchen drawers by replacing all your different pans and things with just one pan then there you go that one right there and also there is an always pot which we're actually quite tempted by aren't we just given the fact that we've used this quite a lot but the always pot you can put in the oven. So that'd be really good if you were doing what, like a shepherd's hot pie, shepherd's pie, hot pot. Anything oh, you want to crisp off, we'll put in the oven. Crisp off, yeah, with a bit of like mashed potato on the top. Mmm, sounds good. Right, Simon's gonna dish this up. We are gonna get stuck in, get warm, get cozy, and we will see you tomorrow. Well, this is how we've been spending the last few days. It's absolutely Baltic. Nice little heater. And duvet day. Hey B. Bumble. Hello. Yes, yes. But in other news, Emma's wonderful painting has been drying very nicely, albeit a little bit slower than we would have expected. Obviously there's no heat. As you can tell, <laughs> We're indoors. We are going out in a minute, to be fair, but... Uh, have, you ever, have you ever seen anything like it? Don't. It's not the time for joking, it's really cold. It is a bit chilly, isn't it? But... It's warming up next week. Uh, you just told me that a minute ago, as if it was supposed to make things better. We've got like a week. Over a week. Is it over a week? Seven days. Seven days. Eight days. Oh, it's uh, getting worse. Yeah, we're going to get like five degrees hotter tomorrow. Shorts and t-shirt weather. You know, come on, tell everyone about your paint. For anyone that's going to use some kind of lime wash paint, it is very much a trust the process process. Like when I first put it on, as you might have seen, it went on really dark. It was almost like, like a tea colour, like as if you'd sort of white to tea bag over it, it was really dark and now it's dried. I'm not holding the camera so I can't see how well it's coming across, but it's much lighter and brighter than what I expected. Now I do need to do 
some more um, like another coat on some areas but I'm not going to do it on all areas so down here you might be able to see there's like a bit of a line where the what was that called like architrave yeah. was which what would that have been filler or was it just maybe adhesive yeah, I think adhesive and just to I mean, change it in texture. I sanded everywhere. It's obviously just a slightly different texture or maybe some sort of residue because we even put, what, three or four coats of primer, primer on the wall as yeah. well. So it's just some areas that I need to tweak, yeah. shall we say. But overall, I'm really, really happy with it. The colour's not really coming out <laughs> on the screen, but you can see like the textured effect. Yeah, it's nice. Which is very good. So yeah, and then you might be able to see I didn't do the ceiling because I was actually quite worried that I wouldn't have enough paint. It's just one of those things when you're sort of going into the unknown and you don't know what to expect. So I didn't do the ceiling, but at the same time I also didn't tape it off. So now I've got the decision of I've got way more paint than I anticipated. So I could mix up some more and I could do the ceiling, but now I'm like, might that be too much? So I might just go and touch up all the areas where I went over with the line wash. I might just keep it white. That's a decision that we haven't yet made. And you're a wounded soldier, aren't you? Oh my God, honestly, right. Again, top tip. Aching fingers, aching top wrists. Top for anyone just one who massive uses ache. this paint. It says on the instructions, wear gloves. I didn't for like half of the room and it basically started to dissolve the skin on my fingers. So wear gloves, wear gloves. And as with the paint in the other room, the plaster is taking an age to dry. I mean, it's starting to dry very nicely in the middle. This was like a very thin coat on that top bit. Around the columns is a little bit thicker and down by the plug socket is a little bit thicker. So it's taken an age to dry out because of the cold temperatures. Five degrees warmer tomorrow though. Yeah, it should dry nicely in tomorrow. But it's looking loads better. Nice square corners, nice square edges. Next week the plan is to pick tiles up. We're going to tile the inside of here. We've ordered the tiles. Ordered the tiles, yeah. Already. And hopefully we're going to start on this room, aren't we? Stripping yeah. loads of stuff yeah. out, stripping all the panelling off. Yeah, this actually is not coming off as nicely. It's taking off quite a lot, isn't it, of all this plaster? Yeah, it'll be fine. Touch it up. Bit of filler. Yeah. A lot of filler. That's your, that's your solution for everything, isn't it? Whack I'll a bit fill of filler it. on it. I'll fill it, you sand it. Yeah, probably. I'm, I'm pleased with it though. It's looking very good. Yeah, it's coming it'll along. Look, it'll look way it? better next week once we've done like a little bit more. It's a much longer process than I anticipated. But yeah, it's. It'll look nice. And we've also made a decision about what's going here and here. Ooh. So Well we've already told people what's going there. But um, don't yeah. don't ruin what's going there though. So we've got something. But don't ruin it. A plan for here. You'll see that next week. Will it be next week? Nope. Not next week. <laughs> Might see half of it next week. Might see some. Delivery a was teaser, if you will. Delivery was like two weeks, wasn't it? Oh, oh yeah, we can't put that in. Yeah, just ruin it for everyone. Can't spot I've right. just said the word that! <laughs> Come on, we're going out for some festivities. Yeah, we're going to head out now for some festive and celebrations. Warmth. Well, hopefully probably, some warmth. Yeah, it's probably warmer right. outside than it is inside. I reckon it is warmer outside. Say bye then. Alright, thank you for watching this week's instalment and we will see you in the next one. And bye from me.